Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? I've returned, Great Master, with the relic from the Aurora evacuation. It's a tablet filled with text, and I don't have a clue how to decipher it. A glorious day. You have no idea what this means, Zachariah. The language is indeed difficult, and most no longer have the knowledge or ability to understand it. Most, but not me. I will begin deciphering immediately. We will know soon enough the vast wealth of secrets it holds. Sean was certainly right in his appraisal of you. Your worth has already proven to be infinitely valuable. A word of warning, Zachariah. Words spreading about your missions. Things you've been able to accomplish. Filled with troubling details that imply you have a mole in your midst. If there is an ASC spy amongst your ranks, he will not only know our secret, but eventually share it back to his master. We will, in no uncertain terms, be lost. All will be lost. So take care, and take care of it, sooner rather than later. Thank you for the warning. I assure you, I will get to the root of this. I wanted to talk to you about something. What about? We're looking for a scientist who disappeared. Name's Charles Seeker. All I found is some of his research. Seems he was studying technomancers before getting arrested and sent to a camp. Charles Seeker? Yes, the geneticist. Geneticists pose a risk. Scientific discoveries are always threatening to expose our secrets. Your friend Scott even worked on the same research years ago. Never found out what Scott did or didn't discover, though. He ended up drinking himself into irrelevance. So I stopped worrying. Whatever research you found, make sure no one sees it. Could be our downfall. Gotta find that spy. Maybe I should ask around. Colonel Ian Manser came by looking for you. Hope this isn't going to be a habit, Lieutenant. His problems aren't yours anymore. You're part of my unit now. Of course. I'll go see him on my own time. Have a moment, Captain? Depends what you need it for. Just want to get to know you better, Captain. I don't usually mix business and pleasure, Lieutenant, but... Ask away and we'll see which questions I feel like answering. from Ophir. Born and raised. Father was an officer. 
Mother was a quartermaster, and I've rarely ventured outside the walls for a few scattered missions. Sound familiar, Lieutenant? Very familiar, Captain. Except my parents weren't officers. Which makes your rise even more noble, Lieutenant. How was your rise to Captain earned? Hmm. Over time. But by no special action by me. Graduated as a corporal, and thanks to the brave men underneath me, their success in missions became mine in rank. No heroic feats to dazzle you with in stories. Just a lot of time and dedication that I'm proud of just the same. What do you think of us? Honestly, Lieutenant? I'm not quite sure yet. You Technomancers are new to me. Undoubtedly special, and capable of feats my other units couldn't dr That said, I've been quite impressed. I thought it was the definition of insanity to send you and so few of your men on some of those missions. Missions I would have anticipated needing ten times the manpower for. So far, you've proven me wrong. So even though it's taking some time getting used to, I couldn't be happier you're one of my troops. Can I ask about your relationship with ASC? Tread carefully, Lieutenant. One might start to wonder the purpose of your questions. But here's my answer. We're all forced to work with them, but it doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. Too much power too quickly leads to arrogance. They're brash and too quick to act. And quite frankly, as they've risen in power, it's no coincidence that the dissenters, deviants, and rebels have risen in numbers. They're a great source of intel, however they get it. I sleep better at night not knowing the means. But I've always thought the army was strength enough. But the eight I trust you won't repeat anything I've said, Lieutenant. I'd hate for both of us to find ourselves enemies of the state over a little frank conversation. My lips are sealed, Captain, and I appreciate your candor and trust. At your command, Lieutenant! Have a second to talk? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. Like, just you and me, or...? Yeah, just you and me. Wow, that's... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be a huge honor, Lieutenant. So what's your life like when you're not on duty? I tell you the truth, Lieutenant, not much to tell. I, I try to visit the city, make some friends, you know, because I don't really know too many folks yet. And my whole family's back in Greenhope, which is kind of too far to travel for my leave. And, um, oh yeah, there's also, you know, I try to still do some hunting. Though there's not much more than small critters in the underworks, not a great hobby for the city. Do you have a good childhood? Oh yeah, you know it, Lieutenant. Really nice growing up, running around in the fields. Father gave me a crossbow, and I spent my time helping the farmers shoot critters hurting their crops. They were good times, Lieutenant. But everybody's got to grow up and move on. There was a lot of hunters in Green Hope, too. Plus, I always dreamed of being a soldier. Mostly, though, because there was a girl back home who loved men in uniforms. Off I went to the big city to join up. And, you know, since I was a sharpshooter, they signed me up and sent me here. Still not used to it. All the buildings, all the folks, all the concrete. Lieutenant? I want to know my men better. Tell me a bit about yourself. Oh, great. Show and tell. Yay. What do you do when you're off duty? Nothing special. See my folks, I guess. They ain't getting any younger, so... And I give most of my paycheck to them, because I'm the only one they got left. Sister died. And I ain't married, so... When I am with them, I'm at the bar. Drowning the shitstorm that my life's become. Not exactly a picture-perfect life, but it's mine. And hell, I get paid enough to help them out and buy my own drinks, so... What's there to complain of? What do you think about Jeffrey Hunter? He's a village idiot who thinks he can brown nose his way to a promotion. The fucking reject. And no, he ain't my friend, if you haven't pieced that together. I'm gonna leave you alone. Seems you'd rather be that way anyway. Hmm. Feels like a Green Hope souvenir stand. Kid must be missing home. 
Unless being messy is a crime, though. Doesn't look like he's doing anything wrong. I can't open it without a code. Everything's clean in here. It's just like the captain's work. Nothing that implies she's working with the ASC. I can't open it without a code. does it matter to you? Older than you, though. I want to know about your childhood. You really want to know about my childhood? Sure, yeah, why not? My dad was never around. He was either on the front or doing drills. My mother, though, she was stationed here and never expected to make more of myself than become a soldier. I fought a lot as a kid. Had my share of girls. So when did you join? Five years ago. Time fucking flies, don't it? It was in 126. My parents were beaming with pride. Pride that's faded when, after all this time, I'm still just a fucking private. This must be a pick of his parents. And his damn notes. Bastard's got my whole schedule in here, and the names of every single person we saw together. It must have been Dave keeping tabs on me the whole time. Never would have believed it. I guess if you could spot them, though, they wouldn't be so damn powerful. Lieutenant? I know you're a drinking man, so what do you say we go grab one? Looks like it's my lucky day. Sure. Why the hell? So why don't you cut the bull and tell me why we're really here? Sure. You've been <laughs> spying on me, Dave. Been reporting everything back to Victor. I don't like rats. That's not all right with me. And what? You think I ever had a choice in the matter? Think I had the option to say no? I don't care. All I know is they got all the intel they wanted on me from one of my own soldiers, and I don't know why. What's your angle, Dave? You bitter you got a manser as your lieutenant? I thought we were past all that. What'd they promise you? Promotion? Better pay? Nothing but a promise they wouldn't hurt my parents. Is that a good enough reason? I don't like the ASC. Don't like what they're doing to Abundance. Don't like what they're doing to me. I don't like the deal they offered, and I don't like I didn't have a choice but to accept it. I ain't got no one but my folks since my sister died. Not that I expect you to shed a tear for me, but if I gotta choose between them and you, sorry, brother. You're on the losing end of that. If it helps, though, I don't think you're the full prick you were before we had this little chat. In fact, I might even have liked you in another time and place. But you're in deep shit now. And it's shit I don't want to get pulled into with you. I don't want your blood on my hands, David. But I can't let you keep doing what you're doing. So I'm just gonna tell you to get the hell out of all fear and don't look back. I don't... sure. Yeah, sure. Bye, Lieutenant. Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? I found the mole. David Ward was running lines for the ASC. In these times, spies are everywhere. They used to be like rats, but now bear more resemblance to cockroaches. Should you see one, you can be certain a hundred more reside in the walls, each placed there while their arms were twisted by the ASC. So what happened with this ward? Couldn't find it in myself to kill him, so I released him and let him run, like a rat. 
and I would assume he's still running and we'll never see him in Ophir again. The full blame cannot be cast on him. There are few who the ASC cannot bend to their will. We'll cross our fingers. Hopefully this soldier is gone for good and does not find himself arrested before he should escape. Lieutenant, I was told Dave Ward has gone AWOL. Any idea where he is? Sorry, Cap. I haven't got the slightest clue. I see. This is bad. I have no choice but to declare him a deserter. I'm afraid there'll be gossip that you can't earn the respect of your men, and the Army's reputation will take another hit. I warned you to keep your head down, Lieutenant. I don't know what you did, but Colonel Victor was having you tailed during your missions, and now? He's got a shitload to say about it, and none of it's good. I tried defending you, but the things he's saying? According to the Colonel, the level of violence you're bringing is... making it difficult for the mutants to accomplish their repair work. I know it sounds absurd to reason with them instead, but we need them, and your tactics are slowing our progress. I'm not there to be diplomatic, Captain. I'm there for a mission, which I accomplished, because the tough approach is all the mutants here. Maybe the fault's ours. Forgetting technomancers aren't magicians. You can't work miracles. And if force produces results, minor delays are better than the rebellion we were otherwise facing. Victor also states you voluntarily jeopardized the lives of the officials you were charged with protecting. Wanna explain that? How do I explain something that's not? If I put those officials' lives in more danger, I'd have been risking my men's lives and mine as well. Why would I do that? And the claims that you've been hiding vital intel for the sole benefit of your fellow technomancers. Like an important research site on the shadow path of Aurora that didn't even register a line item in your reports? Captain. The only thing I've ever done is accomplish the missions you gave me. Nothing more, nothing less. Never concealed anything, or had any other interest but abundances at the forefront. This is unfair. Thought I knew you, Lieutenant. Not so sure anymore. Don't like these stories one bit. And the list of accusations and the details is long. Like your report on the deserters. Less truth than lies. Almost more lies than ink. Never would have expected it from you, Lieutenant. You flat out lied about Bulgakov! I can tolerate failure, Lieutenant, but lies are inexcusable! Do you take me for an idiot? Captain, before we go any further, I'm gonna admit I haven't been fully honest in my mission reports. I wrote things to put myself in the best light, rather than take full responsibility for my mistakes. It was stupid and disrespectful to you. But I never meant it like that, I assure you. Mistakes are one thing, Lieutenant. No soldier is perfect. Lies, though? Lies are another. You tried to protect your reputation with them, and instead, destroyed it. Maybe beyond repair. Quite a goddamn irony, isn't it? Well done. Unfortunately, he's already called you in, and I can't stop it. All I can tell you is watch your mouth. Behave like the soldier you've been since you joined my company, and you'll come out just fine. I'll plead in your favor if it comes down to that. Let's just hope it doesn't. Get going. Colonel's waiting. Good luck. <laughs> 